while's it going guys this was sent in from a viewer to showcase this is the last coat version 2 uh, I actually had the first version of the last coat and it was complete crap didn't even bother making a video on it but um, this is the second version so they were listening they weren't just putting out a product like some other products out there <clears throat> F11 uh, torque that are just complete crap just for a money grab they actually care about what they're sending out to their customers so they went back to the drawing board they revised the formula this is the second version hate wasting your time so let's get right to it the last coat 16 ounces for as of now anyways 34.99 not sure how long that markdown will last a spray coating that boasts four to six months of protection this is the second version of this product it's real easy to use uh, it's you could spray it directly onto a panel as long as it's nice and cool out of direct sunlight after you have properly prepped it and if you follow the channel you know how much I stress uh, prepping and how to get the most out of products by doing proper preparation wash clay decontamination at least a light polish and then you can apply this product to protect Again, spray it directly onto the panel or into a microfiber towel or like I like to do it here into a microfiber applicator so it's easy to do that cross-hatch application ensuring nice even coverage. As you can see the gloss it leaves behind with no streaking. As usual, I'll give you the first person view of the product going on so you know what to expect and what to look for. It doesn't mention much about cure time, but anything with SiO2, 24 hours cure time, 48 hours cure time is best. That's when the slickness increases the most and you'll get the most shine and gloss out of it. Um, when it comes to layering, you can layer. Uh, I have found that 15 minutes minimum but I will wait two hours minimum uh, between any type of SiO2 coating or spray sealant. And there you go. Leaves behind really nice gloss. This is much better than the first version. You can apply it to anything. Don't forget your wheels, your A pillars or B pillars that are either chromed or have the black piano finish. Don't forget your headlights, taillights, aluminum, chrome. I like to mention I don't like to apply to glass or windshields especially. They have their own dedicated coatings that I like to go with. Hats off to them for actually listening and caring about the product that they're putting out there and making tweaks and changes here and there to make it better, to bump up gloss, make it a little bit more durable, refine it. Um, instead of just throwing it out there for a cash grab. And boy, do we have a saturation of them out, especially on social media right now. And when you're all finished, you have a nice, glossy, clean vehicle. It only gets better with time, 24, 48 hours, the slickness, the gloss will slowly increase as it cures. All right, that was application, ease of use. Let's hop over to the test panel. This has been freshly cleaned, but I, do, I will exfoliate it for you. I'm gonna keep the wool pad on here for testing purposes. I don't want it to be perfect. I want it just a little bit hazed over so I could see if there's any type of improvement in case you have trouble clear coat that may be too thin to polish anymore or correct and see what type of improvement this product will make if you put it on the surface. And that will do it. We'll remove the residue. I'll also follow up with an IPA solution and make sure the polish residue is removed. 
We want to give these products we test every chance in the world to succeed if they're going to. Uh, no excuses. So the surface is prepped and we come to application. I'm going to go with two layers and uh, exactly the way we laid it down on the Bentley with a microfiber application pad for me, Chris, cross hatches. You can just spray it onto the panel if you want to or just spray into your microfiber towel. One panel at a time from top to bottom and as soon as I apply it to that panel I'm immediately going to grab the microfiber to buff it off. And here's your first person view. All right, we're going to give this plenty of time to cure, even though there's not much mention of cure time. You can see the time and day here. When we do come back a few days later, it is really slick. Very impressive. Okay, gloss meter readings to see what type of improvement we made. We'll go outside the perimeter of the little application area then we'll go inside to see the difference and as you can see here uh, a 9 or a 10 unit jump which there's a few products that have done that for us that's really impressive uh, not the highest gloss meter ratings out there that we've had so far, but the improvement that it made on the trouble clear coat that we made with the uh, wool pad here, that's what's impressive. So let's test with heat. I want to keep in mind those of you in areas where uh, real strong UVA, UVB damage and high heat, direct strong sunlight. So we're going to heat up an area. I have this marked with a, a permanent marker and we'll keep an eye on that as we make it wet, take it outside for the chemical resistance test. All right, held in place until we exceeded 210 degrees and you can see the time and date now as we are starting the chemical resistance. And just to show you outside that it does make the, the panel darker and richer. It is just a little bit blotchy and not quite as consistent all the way through as I've seen other products, but not bad. So we have our mixture to torture, spray nine and the shampoo so we can clean in between rounds. I'm going to just, uh, I'm going to keep my mouth shut. I'll go through the rounds here, but first I'll give you a little taste of beading. All right, so let's get this started. And we'll keep in mind that some of the products, how far they've gone, Seal and Shine has lasted five or six rounds. Some of the stronger products are up there at five to six rounds. We've had a few that didn't even make it past the first round. Where will this fall? Somewhere at the top, somewhere at the bottom, somewhere in between, let's find out.
we're back to slow sheeting. So, what is that? Six rounds. We've had some that have made it five, six rounds, some more, some just one round. So, very impressive here. Whatever they did to tweak the formula has helped with chemical resistance anyways, which will help with uh, durability overall. And that'll bring us to the final thought segment of the video. The last coat, and this is the second version here, uh, originally between $50 and $60, now marked down to the mid-30s. I believe it could, has room to come down some more to appease uh, some more customers. But I'll tell you, it does everything it advertises to do. It bumps up the slickness, as we have seen. Gloss, a nice jump in gloss. Uh, durability, chemical resistance. It's all there, so I have nothing to complain about. If you have any questions on the product, don't hesitate. Brian from Apex Detail, I'll catch you in the next video. If you are enjoying the content and find it useful, please be sure to like, subscribe, share, hit that notification button. That'll let you know when we have new videos.